Welcome to the Napa Auto Parts post-game show. We're here with the skipper for the team, Miners Tyler LeBron. Obviously, Lance got off to a great start tonight. The first two innings, he looked really dominant, four in strikeouts in those two. Uh, once we saw that first walk, it kind of seemed like he lost a bit more control on his pitches. What are some takeaways that you got from his showing tonight? Yeah, he was really efficient early, and we really we, we were looking for that. I think he maybe just lost a little feel for where he was at. But for the most part, he threw well. He battled. Obviously, the walks are not what we what we want. But, you know, he gave us five strong, as, as good as you can get us. Um, and we're thin on pitching, so that's all we could really ask for from him. So it's a good start from him, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then the bullpen, obviously – I believe did not allow an earned run. Um, technically, if you want to go off the uh, the sun balls in yeah. center field, the sun was obviously a problem for Ricky Nunez today, um, mm -hmm. as well as uh, the center fielder for the Ch Chinooks as well. Mm -hmm. What'd you see out of uh, Aaron and uh, Aaron and Bimel? Bimel. I'm uh, really, really happy with what we saw. Uh, we knew James, James, a local kid, and we were excited to see him throw live, and it was good to see him get on the bump today. And, and go out and compete, and Bimal came in. That was the first time he's thrown, I think, in two years. Yeah. So he threw extremely well. You know, it's good to see him attack the zone right out the, out the gates. And, uh, yeah, we're really pleased with those two guys. So You guys are getting three A&M guys in tonight as well mm -hmm. to throw into that rotation to kind of add some depth to that pitching. With Aaron going three innings, I think he only had one earned run, and he was doing really good. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys think that he could fit in into this lineup going forward? I think he'll be a bullpen guy for us. I mean, a guy, someone maybe call like a bridge guy or a stopper, someone mm -hmm. that can go in and give us ample innings to get us to our, our closer or our eighth inning guy. So, uh, you know, again, I was really pleased with what I saw from him. And again, all I'm asking for these guys to do is throw strikes and compete. And he did a good job of that tonight. So. Yeah, Nakamura and Sorelli continue to barrel balls. Sorelli had a double earlier, scored a run, then the solo home run. Nakamura, yeah. a couple base hits. Um, sack fly as well, drove in a couple runs. What are you seeing out of them? Actually, I think all of our guys, a lot of our guys are bailing balls up. But, yeah, Nak, Nak has been really fun to watch in two games. I mean, lost one last night with the home run, and today he just had some really, really good at-bats. And Sorelli had some – I mean, he missed just that center field home run yeah. by about a foot and a half. And the, the wind just kind of stopped on him. But, again, I thought we took some really good at-bats today. I think a lot yeah. of guys were, were squaring balls up, and I'm not – in any way, shape, or form, panicked about our offense. By any means, we're going to swing the bats to the world. We'll be fine. Honestly, going off of that as well, you guys honestly seem to be seeing the ball fairly well. Mm -hmm. You guys like to check your swings a lot and get your A swing off just because you have that power. But how pleased are you with your plate vision from a lot of these guys? Because there's two walks a game for some of these batters yeah. that we've seen. Yeah, I mean, we're we're a pretty free swinging team. We try to tell them to be as aggressive as possible. They get. We want to go out there looking for their pitch, and they've done a good job of that so far. They get their pitch, and they don't miss it. I mean, Sorrell, you a great example of that today. Um, but, yeah, play discipline's big up here, especially with the, the empire we get sometimes. It's hard to tell what kind of zone we're going to get. So, again, I, I'm really pleased with our offense and how we've kind of approached each game so far. I mean, we're only two games in, but I like what I've seen so far. Yeah, you guys obviously have the off day tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. the Bucks coming in on Tuesday. Uh, it's obviously probably pretty good to get a restart after a couple losses to start the year. Yeah. Um, uh, how are they? How are you guys going to come out of attack on Tuesday? Well, I think you know we're not going to get to Tuesday yet until tomorrow. We'll, we'll, yeah. We're going to reset again. There's no panic button, but it's good. I mean, obviously you want to come out and lose two games, but for us to be able to come out tomorrow morning, get an early workout in, let the guys kind of just clear their heads and come back out Monday night against that or uh, Tuesday night against the Bucks will be good. Um, we'll get one of our a &M guys who will get the ball that night, and we're expecting big things from him. So yeah, yeah. you know, just get back on that horse and. See what we can do. So yeah. All right. Well, this was the Napa Auto Parts post game show with manager Tyler LeBron. So we'll be back here uh Tuesday after the game, hopefully after Miners win.